Hey YouTubers, it's Nicole. I'm back. I have a haul video to do. I did get a two-piece order in today um, I, and a few other small things. I still have not gotten my Minecraft channel order yet. Um, I got a shipping notification on the 10th, which was eight days ago. Um, so I'm really disappointed. I think I got I ordered and got my two-piece order in a, the amount of time between my shipping notification and I haven't gotten it yet. Um, so... Uh, that has, I know, a bunch of my Maggie Home stuff that I ordered and a few other things. So I'm just looking forward to getting that and I hope it's not like lost in the mail or something. Um, and I don't like to bash companies, I don't, but this is like the second or third time that I've ordered from them and they either run out of their product or they were shipped the wrong product or they oversold something and um, it's just a little frustrating. Um, so anyway, not a big deal. I still order from them. I like things that I've gotten from them. I like how they, you know, kit different things together, but just kind of frustrating. I'm just waiting for my, to play with the new Maggie home. So anyway, I will quit jabbering. And I went to a local store. It's like a local grocery store. And then they have, um, clothing and other things too. It's like a department store and a grocery store mixed together. And, um, they actually have a little, a small scrapbooking section. And I rarely go there because they don't have you know, a lot of new stuff. But they did actually have washi tapes, and I got these. They had some other ones, too, but these are the ones that I liked. There's a, a gold and red polka dot and then a silver stripe. So I thought those were fun. And they were kind of pricey, but um, I was just excited that they had washi because it's the only place nearby that has it, besides, you know, Hobby Lobby, which is, like, an hour away. So, and then I got some... Flare. Um, I think I mentioned before, I have a gal who um, makes flare for my shop. Um, and I sell it, you know, individually, but I also sell them for these magnetic necklaces that she makes. And these magnetize to, like, a bottle cap necklace. And she puts um, a magnet on there, and then you can ch change out the flare. And so my girls have necklaces, and then um, I often buy them for scrapbooking. So um, I, she had sent me some new ones, so I bought some. Here's this one. It says Capture Life. This camera. I think she sells on Scrapyard too. Her name's Amber Lamar. And she just does a really fun job. Um, she's a very talented crafter. This little Christmas tree. That was so cute. Oops. Keep Calm and Potter on. I know I have some Harry Potter stuff, but I at some point want to just scrapbook kind of how we've like the books and the movies and, and this camera. It goes upside down, sorry. And then it says Live, Love, Dance because I got two little dancers. So I thought I'd use that in one of their pages or mini albums. Okay. And then I got in um, from my cherry on top order last time around that I was obviously very confused about because I didn't get, I kept saying that I thought I had had ordered one whole collection. The one with the cameras, I think it's captured by Pebbles, maybe? Anyway, and I hadn't gotten it, or at least I think I had it in a cart somewhere and just hadn't actually ordered it, so that's where I was confused. But um, I did find, um, they did send me the two clip sets of clips that they had on pre-order that they didn't send in that order, which is why I thought it was, that's why it took us so long, but that's okay. It's neither here nor there. It's a busy time of year for for scrapbooking companies because all the new stuff's coming out but anyway so I'm happy to get these really cute these are arrows and then hearts and then cameras and airplanes so very fun so I got those and then now for my two piece order I'm not going to go in any order I'm just going to take them out as it's in the box um so I got this Mr. Huey's new color it's called Canyon and it's like that peachish pink color. It's really pretty. There's that. And then I got the Studio Calico die cut arrows. It's hard to see there. It looks like they're kind of like an acetate see through. It's like greens and reds, is what it looks like. There you go. Okay, and then these, plas oh, they're plastic shapes is what they're called, and then these stars, it's like blues, reds, 
yellows, lots of different colors in there. And then I got these um, Studio Calico Feather Shapes. Really pretty. And then I got um, these Pebbles Library Pockets. And I'm trying to think of what line it's from. It's from one of their new lines, but they don't have it on here. But I can see. But they're just pockets with little library cards in them. And I'll just show you kind of what they look like here. Oops. Those, can you see those okay? Just trying to give you an idea. And I just don't um, always, well, one, I don't want it to be too long, but. I don't always open the packages and show you individual items. If you ever want me to, just let me know. But I just, I, I tend to feel like that gets too long. So I just don't usually do that. Some, sometimes I will every once in a while. But let's see. And then, um, then from the same line, I got these envelopes, which are really cute. And here's a good picture. They match the same line. So really cute. And then I got the chips, the Pebbles chips. And I think it's all from the same line and I can't remember what it was. I'm sorry. I wish they would put it on their packaging. But here's kind of a better look of what's on there. Okay. I just love their little packaging. I just love it. It has like the nutrition facts and I think it, that's a really cute idea. And then I also got the picture frames the picture frame hang, hang tags, and those are really super cute. Here's kind of all the different designs that are in there. Sorry for the glare, guys. Trying to. Okay. And then I got this Dear Lizzie stamp, which I'm really excited about. Very fun. So there's like a look at the two individual ones. And I got Crate Papers Close Knit. These are 10 layered borders. There. Another cute wave packaging. There's a close up of what's in there. And then I got these Dear Lizzie Fabric Flowers, which I thought were cute. Hmm. I'm sure they were pretty pricey for two flowers. And I probably could have made them myself, but it's Dear Lizzie. It's cute. They're cute. I had to just go and click that I wanted everything from the entire line. <laughs> so I got her wood veneers as well, and I like that they're bigger. Here's kind of a picture of what's in there. And I got the close-knit brads. And this is falling out, but you get, um... I just found this out not that long ago, but I didn't realize that you could pop out these and keep it, you know, use it as a regular button, that they're meant to do that. So you can either put this in the center or you can take it out and use it as a button. I thought that was a really clever idea. All right. More Dear Lizzie. Got the adhesive flowers. Those are really cute. Really dimensional. Really cute. And these are Amy Tangerine Adhesive Resin Bows. Those are fun. And then Dear Lizzie's um, Bows. These are all from Polka Dot Party. Amy Tangerine Stamp. It's really cute. And then, actually, I think I got yep, another one. And then I got these skippings, puffy things, these cameras. I thought those were adorable. And the hearts. And then I got um, a Wonderful Day sticker sheet. And I'm wondering if I did. I, I ordered this and I used up most of this line. And I didn't think I would gotten this, but I'm wondering if 
No, I don't think I did. But the colors are really cute. I thought I could use those on lots of different projects. Okay. And here's a Dear Lizzie accent and phrase stickers. There's, it's all in there. Eight pages of stickers. And Amy Tangerine photo corners, which are really cute. I don't normally buy photo corners, but those are awesome. Dear Lizzie label stickers. Dear Lizzie epoxy stickers. Which I don't really get epoxy stickers either, but these are really cute. This just reminds me a lot of um, KI memories and kind of older lines, and I just didn't use them very much. So maybe I think these I'll use because they're so adorable and. Um, I got Amy Tangerine Remarks. This is Harper. It's like a distressed gray. And then there's a lighter, kind of a tan. Tannish, goldish. And then, um, and these, and oh, they're transparent as well. So these are also transparent stickers. Really cute. Love the variety of colors that you get. Then I got the Pebbles Photo Overlays. Um, I never got the crepe paper ones. I think was it the Pier? I never did get those, so I wanted to try these out. These are really fun. And then I got these as well. They must be different. Oh, this is a Halloween one. There's a Halloween themed. Cute. And then I got these gold rub-ons, and I haven't been buying a lot of rub-ons lately either, but I think the fact that they were gold is what got me <laughs> really cute. And more photo corners. I love the polka dot. It's so cute. And I got the Amy Tangerine Remarks book. There's also eight pages. And then I got the Studio Calico Stitched Pockets. That were really cute. Like. Okay, and then I got the close knit crepe paper um, ephemera pack. There's, there's kind of what's all you get in there. Oh my goodness, I got a lot. Okay. And I got the close knit wood die cut wood pieces, and they're like a darker wood, which I really like. So cute. And then Studio Calico badges, and this is from, I can't remember the name of the line either. It's one of their newer lines. It's cute. Very fun. So it's kind of travel themed. And then I got the Studio Calico die cut shapes, kind of a chalk, it's a chalkboard theme. 30 pieces in there. And I got Dear Lizzie clothespins. And some more of these plastic shapes, and these are the um, arrows. They must be, I think they're a different color scheme. Like the aquas and the yellows and the browns. And I got Amy Tangerine bits, these veneer tags. Love these. And then the Studio Calico Journal wood, <laughs> wood tags, they're a little bit bigger. I think these are, this must be 3 by 4 maybe yeah, these are 4 by 3 and those are, I think, 2 two by 3 I guess once you get there. There's four of them. And then I got these Studio Calico wood veneers um, with, like, the sun, lightning, and clouds, and the sun, and snowflakes. I can see in there. That's kind of example of what's all in there. So basically it's, like, a sky-themed. All right, and I got Amy Tangerine Bits, which are the cardstock shapes. A 
as well as Dear Lizzie's, of course. So excited to play with these. A camper is too cute. And I got Amy Tangerine six stitched vellum pockets, which I have a couple of these from Studio Calico's monthly kits. And then I got the Dear Lizzie Project Life kit. There's a hundred cards. And there's kind of an example of the cards that are in there. Really cute. There's just one of the four by sixes that's on the top there. So there's ten four by six. Title cards, 10 by 4 by 6 journaling cards, and 83 by 4 journaling cards. Really fun. Running out of room. And then I also got the Amy Tangerine one as well. So there's that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> then I got. The close knit crepe paper before and um, before and after um, photo overlays. There's 15, so I got plenty of these now. And I have kind of a look at what's all in there. Oh my goodness! And I got Amy Tangerine. I got a lot of, I got a lot of um, wood veneer and chipboard. <laughs> these are Amy Tangerine 24 adhesive chipboard shapes which I have a lot of, so I sh probably shouldn't have ordered these because I'm really bad about using chipboard. But maybe if I put it with the kit, it'll entice me to use it. And then I got the day book, and I am going to open this just because I haven't seen it yet. Let's see. Oops. Okay, so it has this overlay with, like, this little like the arrows and kind of like a paint streak. This is um, a wood grain, chevron wood, wood grain, basically. Love her day books. It has, it's a pocket. And something that's different is that she uses the rings now instead of stitching them, which, um, I think I might start making my, a bunch of my own of these because I had made a couple, I had made one of my own and I had a lot of trouble stitching it and I think it's because it, it was probably too full and I'm not good at stitching stuff anyway. Um, and I remember thinking to myself, why don't I just, you know, punch holes in it and do it that way instead. So I could easily, I think, make my own and it's a great way, another pocket, great way to use up scraps of paper. Just putting together just a variety of scrap paper and, you know, doing different sizes. Then you can add in, um, if you're like me, I have tons of envelopes and um, uh, pockets and different things, so you can add that in and make your own really easily. Of course, hers are already done, so that helps. That's really cute. Um, and I like hers, but I think this is something that we could all probably make on our own just because we all have scraps, right? Okay, then I got the close-knit layered embellishments, which are really cute. There go. And I got her, um, Amy Tangerine's new stitching set for the letters. I'll do this because it's easier to see the font. And again, you get the little pad and the, um, the embroidery floss. And then another one here, and here's what's on there. Really fun. Then I got the Dear Lizzie accent and fray stickers. Oh my gosh, that's too cute. The bunny with like the flags on it. The camper's cute. Some letters down there. How fun. What a really cute line. 
love it. Of course, I love the camera. The close knit from Crate Paper. And this will work well because even the stuff that's really knitting themed, oh, it's just one sheet. The stuff that's knitting themed, um, you know, I own a, I think I've talked about this before. Well, I know I have. I have a craft shop, and so I have a lot of my crafters that knit things and sell them in my shop. And so I'm always taking pictures of my shop at different stages, and um, so it would be a great way to document some of the different things I have in my shop and when I scrapbook that. So here's the Pebbles Brazen Accent Stickers. Um, again, I can't remember what the name of the line is. I'm so sorry. But it matches the earlier Pebble stuff I showed you. It's really cute. I'll, I think I got the paper, so I'll know when I get the paper out. And then Studio Calico stickers. This must be from that traveling themed one. Um, got some letters, and then there's that, and in the back some more letters. And I got the Amy Tangerine trims. They're like a, um, they're epoxy. And then Dear Lizzie die cut cards. And I'll probably um, get another package of these like I did last time. So I, I'll use one as a stencil and then one to put on pages. It's really I love that. You're the peanut butter to my jelly. It's so cute. And then the dimensional embellishments from Dear Lizzie. It's so cute. Let's see, and then I got some thickers. So I'll show them all together. Um, I got one Amy Tangerine and then three of the Dear Lizzie's. And these are like an aqua with a white polka dot. These are white with a black polka dot, which are so cute. I'm going to have to get more of those. Um, the gold glitter and then the pink resin. Skinny resin. Really cute. These are so adorable. Definitely going to have to get some more of those. And I also got these banner ones. These are from Just American Crafts. They're like a, a gray, like a tannish gray. And then um, Amy Tangerine um, thickers. These are really cute. And I got Pebbles Halloween um, chalkboard stickers. Oops, just one sheet of those. And then the other phrase and accent stickers. These are different, right? Yeah, they are. So same line, just different, different stickers. Okay, finally, finally down to the paper packs. So I got Happy Haunting from Cartabella. Not gonna open it. Um, there's a look there, and then I got the cut and paste. I think let's see. There's something else in here with it. Cut and paste from Amy Tan, which I think we've probably all seen or will. Oops. I'm so bad at this. Okay. Cute. Ah, things are falling over. Let's see. I got Studio Calicos. Oh, that away. That's what it's called. So all the um, traveling theme stuff is called that away. Here. Pretty cute. And then I got Create Papers Close Knit.
And then I got um, From Me to You is a Pebbles line. So they didn't have any paper pads for it or even 6x6 six six pads, but they had this um, card making pad. And so I got these thinking, you know, I could use it for layering and just to have some paper from the line. So. And then I got the cut and pay 6x6. Six six. Really, I'm really bad at this. There we go. Now I've got to show you again since I showed the 12 by 12. And then Polka Dot Party. So. That is it, you guys. That is it. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, I think I got some individual sheets. Let me see what I got. Oh, I got chipboard from Close Knit, which is really cute. And then, let's see. I think these are all like extras of the die, cart, die cut sheets. So I got those from Close Knit. And, the crate. and then if it's like has a camera on it, I usually order an extra. That one's really cute. That's from Close Knit. Extra from um, Flea Market, which is Maggie Holmes. Um, maybe I did go ahead and order hers. Oh, then the extras for the polka dot party. There's butterflies in the back. Another one. Another one. And I'd already gotten, and I got the cameras, and I'd already gotten, um, you know what, I'd already gotten the um, paper pad of Dear Lizzie. I think I went ahead, maybe not. Oh, never mind. So I had already shown that. It's really cute. Then cut and paste. So yeah, these are all just like, I always get an extra of the die cut cards. These are from Amy Tangerine. Oops. Oh, this is from Pebbles, from Me to You. So I did get some of the 6x6 sheets of it, as well as that little pad of paper. Also from Pebbles. Oops. So I must have just ordered the 12x12 12 12 sheets individually and then um, got the 6 by or got that card making pad. Actually, a really cute line. I got two of that one because of the chevron, probably. I, probably, I loved both sides. If I like, like both sides, I get two so I can use both of them. Sorry, trying to go fast. This is all from that Pebbles from Me To You line. That one's really cute. And there we go. All right, you guys, that's it. All I have left that I really, really want is Maggie Home stuff, which hopefully I'll be getting most of that here soon with that order I'd put in as I hit myself in the face. And um, other than that, I think I'm probably all set. I say that now, with, but with all the new stuff, the new CHA stuff, um, we'll see. But I think Maggie Holmes is the only one I just really want to get my, my hands on. So anyway, that is my haul, and I got a lot of stuff to put away. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.